is Laura Gordela Sanchez, I'm in the class International Marketing and today I'm going to present you my case study Google in Chinese market. Google, the world's leading search engine company, entered the Chinese market in early 2000s, creating a Chinese version of its homepage google.com, located in China but which could handle search requests from US. Technology was not a reason for censorship. For the Chinese government, the fewer years of Google in China made it easy for it to operate without the need for any license to operate its business. But in 2002, Chinese users closed the search engine. Then, a search engine, Badu, was in the crosshairs of Google for being a possible competitor for them. In 2006, it agreed to censor its content using filters known as the Great Firewall of China. To compete with Baidu, it launched a Chinese page, google.cn, when Chinese users search for censored content of google.cn. They received a notice that some results had been removed. Google began to receive criticism from defenders of human rights for censoring information of content such as democracy, protest, the government, or religious cults. Google's slogan and mission, Google's mission to organize the world's information and make it universally accessible and useful, were constantly debated and harshly criticized. Google admitted that launching Google.cn was quite problematic regarding its mission. But it was not until 2010 that Google's troubles in China really began. On March 22, in 2010, the New York Times reported that Google would never catch up with its Chinese competitor, Waidu, which in LZ catered to consume bio-friendly uses access to bread media rapidly increased its user base. After the zero attack, its growing demands for censorship, Google decided not to censor its search results anymore. The LZ president of Google, David Drummond, declared that in addition to Google, 20 and others company have been victims of severe attacks from the Chinese government, blocking sites like Facebook, Twitter, even Gmail. From that moment, users who visit Google.cn would be automatically redirected to Google Home, Hong Kong, where they would offer an uncensored service especially admired at Chinese users. It was in 2014 when the Chinese government decided to break the comfortable relationship with Google, blocking protocol of the service in China, such as Gmail or Google Maps. In 2050, rumors spread that Google is waiting for a proof that the Chinese government to launch its application, application store, Google Play, which did not happen. Google market share in use in China clearly has not been a difference. In 2017, even when more companies in Chinese market, the government did not stop attacking private networks whose words were much more comprehensive to avoid censorship. BMP and so were implemented to bypass censorship. At the end of 2017, Google shared an important announcement at the creation of new artificial intelligence research center in Beijing, while it worked quality to adapt the parameters required by the government. According to The Intercept, Google search engine Chip Bengom says, China is the possible the most interesting market in the world. Google isn't just trying to make money doing business in China. He said, we need to understand what's happening in certain areas. China will teach us, we don't know. The increase of new forms of technology for information and social interaction has become a fundamental tool for the human being. For information channels where different expressions of political, social, cultural, and religious opinions are present to only basic interaction network, it shows the important role that played in each country and user. According to BBC, the political importance of the important was demonstrated during the protests against the results of 20 2009 election in Iran, where protesters circumvented heavily censored print media by leading and broadcasting protests through social network sites such as Facebook and Twitter. In conclusion, Google and many other technology companies are not doing so well in China and is expected to be one of the largest markets. Notably, while Google did some good research before entering the market, today is has not been able to outperform its local competitor, Why do? 
Not only the Chinese government rules and regulations related to censorship in China were barriers to the growth was expected, but the different marketing strategies that Bait used, getting to know its local consumers more than transforming at its local knowledge into advance that they left behind their worldwide competitors. Brief analysis of the internet search market in China by discussing the market shed of various players such as Google, Waidu, Yahoo, and other local players show us the importance of knowing our customers and the advantage of the local companies have. According to StatCounter, today Waidu has the 71-13% of the market share, while Google only has 3.42%. It shows Waidu have strategic privilege today. A possible strategy that Google could use to grow in its market share is firstly to maintain and progress with the laboratories in China because in one way or another they make this market more integrated and could finally incorporate reference to global standards adopted by China. Chinese. Thank you so much for your attention.